Hi and welcome. This is Kristen from Life Crafting. I'm gonna do my craft room tour and this is not looking like much but I want you to see we come down a flight of stairs to my basement to a landing and you turn and then this is where I am currently and it's um very very congested um so this is my little like nook and cranny here of everything and I'll give you a brief, and I want to keep it brief, tour of what we're looking at. And this is the first wall when you come down. This is a bookshelf I have had. Oh, many times, many houses and many colors. It was mine as a child. And I got some of those um, iris containers with different things in them. So they do fit there pretty well. I've tried to kind of make some stuff fit in there. That That is a lot of stuff, um, random paper that I don't really care for that I'm trying to use up. And this is just things like my rhinestones, my pearls. Um, the These things here are the like backup glue sticks. I did get this uh, metal container here at Ikea and I've got my big shot plates in there. I was trying to keep my big shot there until my big shot actually got worn out and broke and now I have a vagabond and it just doesn't have an electrical socket there. So now that is my container store that I've just um, invested in some organizers for my drawers um, over on the Ikea Calyx bookcase and uh, so that bag will be going. But this has got some glitter in drawers, um, my glue guns in the bottom my uh, finger dollars are in there so that's kind of that and then this carb table here has some just junk underneath of it the um store the 12 by 12 containers i will use when i go away for like a day weekend but this is a lot of like things i used to do in the past some you know like the styrofoam rings for making wreaths um, some sewing projects. So this is really kind of like dead space. <laughs> um, I don't really do much there. And then this table is where I was using my Vagabond, but um, to, so I could sit down, I kind of moved it over. So that is um, a big piece of just a silver mat I got at Hobby Lobby out of their like um, poster board section and it's on there just only because I'm trying to keep it flat. And then these are projects I have started and need to go. Um, and just a thing of paper that I'm, I just kind of cleaned out and I'm filling up as I go um, with the ones I want to keep. And then I just have my punches with my stamp and storage, um, the two containers. Again, I'm not sure how much of that I'm keeping. I'm doing this tour so you can see where I'm starting from. And I'm hoping to help some others with people that are trying to declutter as well. I have a lot of ribbon. Um, I'm trying to find projects to use them up. Again, a lot of Stampin' Up! colors. I don't know how much of that I plan on keeping. These two containers here are projects that I've like started and they just never really kind of got over the hump of being completed. My plan is that these three containers will only be the pending products or projects. Otherwise, they're getting thrown out. So, um, top shelf is some other projects I got to get through. I'm not really sure, truthfully, and I'm kind of not trying to get myself overwhelmed. So those are going to stay for right now. Um, my back up, the top shelf is my back up heavyweight papers. I've kind of got stuck last year finding paper, um, with the shutdown of COVID. So I really made it a point that I want to keep a big amount of stash on hand for the card bases. Then I'm moving over. These are some some uh, wreaths I made with paper that I got to make a decision on. Some old felt. Yeah, like I told you, this basement really needs to be helped. I did take my cardstock and get it cut in half, and that's the boxes that are the brown boxes that say like cream on them. That's what I have left. I do need to take more and get them um, cut. One of those eyeglass cases with the washi tape. I do use some um, clothespins to hold different projects together. And those washi tapes on there are ones I plan to just use up and get rid of. I have some hymn books from prior years at church. I've used them for projects because they have all the, the lighter, thinner paper with the music on them. They work really well. There's my Stampin' Up! inks and a Stampin' Storage container. 
Um, I will, as I'm going through and explaining to you some of the stuff, I'm really thinking I may, um, I'm getting rid of some of my Stampin' Up! stuff, quite a bit of it. And I don't know if I'm keeping those containers. And this is the current project I'm working on. For lack of a better place, my guillotine trimmer is on the trash can because I just want it close at hand, but I don't really have much of a space for it. I, I like to keep a clean space as I'm working, even though this doesn't really look clean. But um, So this is the current stuff I'm sorting through and finishing up and getting out. Over here, um, these here are some of those folders that Jennifer McGuire talks about cutting down, and I'll show you where I'm starting to use them in my stamps. And this bin here, um, this is an art bin bin of dies. I still am looking to put in the containers. And then under here is the cards I have finished in this floral box that is going to be used for my retail business as giveaways. And then this was just um, something I cleaned out. Yeah, this was one of those roller carts. I got it at Michael's. I really had liked the ones from Ikea, but Ikea's not right around the corner. It's close, but not. I thought it would be really good because it had the, the ribbon on the side, the stuff on the ends, and there's another one on the other side. But you know what? It's very um, not easy because I'm on carpet to roll around. And I think having those things on the side really make it unstable where it like wants to tip back and forth between the sides um because there is stuff on the other side the back side that you can't see of this cart so i'm really wanting to get rid of this this is where i put the bigger things of ribbon and the ones i don't expect to use very much um i, I really don't expect i'm going to keep this cart i expect i'm probably going to get the ones that are smaller but probably more effective to be used from ikea and these here these clear things or envelopes that I was going to start using to put my paper scraps in and do it by like a rainbow color. I'll have to see. I, I really don't like them out. I'm thinking um, I may, when I go to the new craft room, have a um, uh, like filing cabinet drawer and maybe keep them in that. So the biggest component of my stamping stuff is this Calyx system. Um, I will be honest, I'm trying to back up so I can get as much in here. I bought the gray bins very early on from Ikea, and they need a serious cleaning out. I don't know. They're not really full full, but there's still stuff I know I don't want to keep in there. Um, the top, the second row down of the doors, I have gone through. Um, this first one, and I'll do a more thorough tour later, has like all of my envelopes. Um, the second one in has like some uh, close to my heart stamps that I will be going through and trying to probably get into the Jennifer McGuire system. And then these last three have um, the, this second one in has the embossing folders and the middle and the last one are backup stashes of paper, um, cardstock paper. The third row is where I keep the cardstock and I really think I'm going to redo that. I don't like, there's a lot of wasted space in there. It's got cardstock that's a lot of stamping up that I don't expect I'm going to be keeping. So I don't know that I'm going to be keeping these stamp and storage ones. And then this last one has a thing of my Copics that I started carrying, some extra trimmers and some extra six by six pads and one of the mini die cutting machines. So then, uh, you know, the bottom, as you can see, is just all magazine holders and they are all either um, foils and glitters or um, printed papers. I added the black drawers in. I'm starting to get better organized. Um, like one of these over here on the end, one of the drawers has like all my backup glues. And the other one is like the things like replacement blades for the Stampin' Up! trimmer and, um, backups for my label maker. So this is going to be like, that's where I got this container storage stuff in the container store to organize these drawers. Um, so I'll go through the drawers and then the middle one over here has um, some of the like shaker top rings from Queen and Company. Um, I started collecting some of the Nouveau drops are in there. I don't know what's in the other drawer. I don't think I have anything in there right now. And then the last one over there has my new stamp pads. Like I have some Gina K and some Simon Says stamps. And then the bottom drawer has all of my acrylic blocks. 
And then I started doing the Jennifer McGuire where there's like the large um, stamp envelopes there. And then I had the small and the medium. And truthfully, this is where I started cutting the folders up. I'm really going to have to go through this and do it my own way because I don't really like the fact, like this is supposed to be the like dies that don't fit in the smaller one over there. I really don't, I don't like it. They're very uh, wasted space in there and they are a thinner, a uh, thinner glue and or thinner um, envelope. And that's the reason I had to tape gun down here. I had to tape some of these envelopes already. So I'm kind of like not liking this larger size. And I also feel like, like this one, I get way more in um, that double one than I ever get in here. And then I did find a slim size that fits next to it at the container store. It's made from the same company. And I got the smaller size, figuring it was going to go in one of these drawers. So I'd like it if it's a little bit deeper and I fit some six by six pads in there. <coughs> Excuse me. And then the last thing I have, oh wait, it's not my last thing. I do have something around the back. Um, this is an old bookcase I found in my yard selling days when I was pregnant. And this is um, more like the everyday stamps, like birthday, sympathy, kids' birthday, christening. I did have, and I missed that side of it. I have over here, um, you can't even see it in there, a stamp and storage contain, um, shelving unit that has Christmas, my oxide inks, um, that black pole that's like right here is how I'm videotaping above me. And then up here on the top shelf is background stamps. Lots to go through because I can say like that Martha Stewart stuff I don't. So that's just Christmas. Um, obviously some of that stuff has moved into here. I don't like stamping up for the fact that like there's a lot of space used for their stamps. And then the last thing I have, excuse my son's chair. Like I said, this is kind of a mess is I do have an Alex system from Ikea. I am starting to go through to get rid of in there is a lot of the wood stamps and the bigger punches that don't fit in those stamp and storage containers that were over here, um, these ones here. So for me, uh, this is probably gonna be one of the things I'm looking to keep um, is this Alex system. I don't know how much of this bookshelf I'm going to keep. I'm expecting that I will probably eliminate that because I want to get myself into using just the whole Calyx system. And that is going to be my main storage. And then above that was just some things I bought at Hobby Lobby as containers. Uh, I'll be honest, I think I have some like mason jars I was doing projects with and stuff and they gotta go. I don't do anything with them, so they're going. And then there was a um, advent calendar made for my son that I just need to finish off the top for. I wanted to add a couple more bottle brush trees. So this is my craft room area, like I said. Oh, and this up here is where Jennifer McGuire says, keep yourself some of the stuff as on hand with the label maker and some of the empty folders. And I'm talking about like this bin here. This bin up top here is ready to go for when I have new stamps and stuff to add into it. So that's my equivalent for that. So I will do follow-up videos um, as I'm going along, kind of give you some of my ideology when I'm thinking of and what I want to use and, and that type of thing. And then we can't forget, um, there's the kitty bed. And then that box is scraps that I'm throwing in and I plan to just donate them to somebody local, like a teacher or after school program and get rid of them. So I'm off to work. I'm going to start on those cards over there. Thanks for watching. And I hope you would enjoy my journey of moving out of here. I'll have to show you in another video where we're going just to another side of the basement, but it's going to be fabulous. See ya.